Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad with a new lesson. Uh, today's lesson is for grade 4, chapter 1, lesson 2. Read and write multi-digit numbers. Page number is 17. I hope all of you guys are ready with your books and pencils in hand. If not, pause this video and get ready and then resume it. Okay. Guys, the most important thing for today's lesson is these two and a half lines. A group of three digits is called a period. You guys know this thing. We have three periods, ones period, thousand periods, and there is another one million period. Uh, we have more, but you are taking only three now. Okay. So a group of three digits is called a period. Commas separate the bits. Here we use commas to separate the bits. Like uh, one period ends before starting the next one, we use commas to separate them. Okay. At each comma, say the name of the period. Now, how we read the number, guys? You read the number completely. What is it? 24 and then before the comma you say the name of the period. What is the name of the period? 1000. 24,000. Then you place the comma and then 983. So no comma now so we don't take the name of the period. Similarly if you have some more numbers here, uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you have one here and let's say you have uh, three here before that we have to put comma here okay and let's say you have uh, two here okay so now you guys know that this one is million period got it and the three is the ones of the million period two is the tens of the million period ones and tens and similarly we have hundreds here okay so how we read it now 23 millions 124 thousand and then 983 I hope you guys understand this thing let us move to the next page now okay Okay, there's another thing. Today, there are different ways to write numbers. How many ways? Three ways. The first one, standard form. The second one, expanded form. And the third one, word form. Like the standard form is like this one, when you write a number in digits, in numbers like this. This is standard form. Okay. And what is word form? When you read this number, like just now I told you, 24 and then 1000, here they are saying it, 24,983, 983. So this is standard form. This one is word form, when we write the numbers in alphabets, in words. Got it guys? So you guys know about the two forms, standard form and word form. Now what is expanded form? Let me show you on next page. Okay, here. Let us solve uh, one by one. The population of Botswana is about now guys you have to read it the first one once period the second one thousand period and this one millions period so one in the million eight hundred eighty two thousand and nothing in ones zero so this is how we write the number in standard form and in expanded form we expand the number according to its place values like one what is its place value? 1 million. So we write here 1 million. Then the plus sign 8. 
its place value is 100,000. How many 100,000? 800,000. So this is the way of writing 800,000. The, the next one is also 8. Its place value is 10,000. So how many 10,000? 8, 10,000, which means 80,000. 2, 1,000. So it, how many 1,000? 2. So it becomes 2,000. And nothing in the ones. So this is the way when we separate the numbers according to the place value, we call it expanded. Got it, guys? Now here, word form, all of you know it. You will take the name of the period before the comma and then you read the numbers normally. Like here, 1 million, comma, 1 million, comma, okay. Next one, 882,000. 882,000. That's it. The other ones are zero. So this is the word form. This one is expanded form and the standard form. Okay. Let us move to the next example here. Write each number in standard form. They give us the word form and the expanded form. We will write it in standard forms. Okay. Let us read this one. 349,000. We know that this is the thousand period and what we have in thousand period? 349. 349. Then the comma. Here's the comma. And what we have in ones period? 25. Okay. We don't have any hundred. So we put zero on the hundreds place. If I just write 25, but we know that we have three digits in the ones period. So we have to fill the last one with the zero. So it will become 250, which will be wrong. Got it, guys? So we just need to write 25. So how we fill the hundreds place? With the zero. Okay, here. This one is 400,000. Four at the 100,000 place. 90,000, 9 at the 10,000 place, 2,000, 2 at the 1,000 place, 8 at the 100 place, 1 at the 10th place, and 4 at the 1's place. Okay. Write each number in expanded form and word form. Okay, I will show you these two examples. Then the next one you guys have to practice by yourself and match your answers from this video. Let me show you the first one. 400,000. This one, 9. Its place value is 10,000. So 90,000. 2,000. No 100. So we don't write 100. 30 and 2. And similarly, how we read it, this is the 1,000 period. So 492,000, 492,000, comma, and in the one period we have 32, so 32. Similarly here, 3 million, 20,000, 8,000, and 2. 3 million, comma, 28,000, 28,000, and 2 in the one period. Let us move to next page, page number 19. Here are some more examples. You guys have to practice them all. 25,000, 25 in the thousand period, and 408, 408. 40,000, 40 in the thousand period, comma, 811, 811. 761,000. The thousand period we have 761. 356. 356. Here we have three periods now. Ones, thousand, and million. So in million period we have what? Five million. Just five. Then in thousand period we have 762. 762 and thousand. And in ones period, 111 111 uh, guys the video is getting longer than 10 minutes so here's the end of the part one of lesson two i will continue in part two wait for part two thank you so much have a nice day